Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at different ways to smooth your object out. So this is just a regular sphere effect. Let's shift this cursor to select it. Let's just get rid of it for a second. And then I'm going to replace it back into the scene with shift A. And I'm going to go get the UV sphere like that. All right, but before I do anything, I'm going to press T to get the toolbar up like this. And then down here, notice it's using 32 segments and 16 rings but I want to see more of these facets in these faces so I'm just gonna make it say like 12 by 12 alright I'm just gonna do this as, for a reason I'm gonna give it a color alright so like that so then I can then when I'm looking at the sides of it I can see these clear angle changes like this all right. So one of the things, if I was to just let's see, my camera's pointing at this anywhere. Well, yeah, it's pointing there. You can see it. So now it has all these hard edges to it, like that. Well, maybe that's what you want, but maybe not. So let me see where the camera is actually located. Looks like it must be located over about here somewhere. All right. So it's approximately looking at that location in here. Alright, there it is like that. So one of the things you can do without increasing the resolution of your mesh, because if you come into here just like this, and if I go into edit mode, and if I just subdivide, W subdivide, what it's doing, it's actually just subdividing each face, but you'll notice like on this face back here, I'll do W subdivide again, it hasn't really changed the topology of the mesh, it's still a flat face that we're subdividing like that. All right. So I'm going to control Z that and get it back to here. So that doesn't really do it. And one of my other tutorials I showed you, if you really want a really fine mesh, I'll actually I'll just put an extra one over here like this. Shift A, put another UV sphere next to it here. But in this case, maybe I'll make that 64 by 64. And you notice how nice and smooth that is. But of course, then the number of faces cranks up. And then if you have a huge model, then it can really start bogging down the system as rendering time. So one of the ways you can sometimes do it is over here in the toolbar you have this smooth, smooth underneath shading. Now there's a couple types of smooth. There's also a smooth down here. Well you can't see it until we go in, into edit mode but we'll just apply smooth to this object right like this. And you can see it smooth shades it so that does it the calculation but the edges you can still see are really bad like that. So that sometimes can work if your object's way off in the distance, that'd be fine, or for whatever effect. But let's go back to flat mode. But you don't always have to apply it strictly to that location. You can come into edit mode here. I mean, face select, I'll just click, click these guys here like this. And then I'll just apply my smooth shading. Where did it go? Where did it go? Smooth under shading. And I'll make those smooth. Now when I leave edit mode, now you notice it's just on this part of the surface. So that helps, but if you cruise across to the side, you still see that edge, right? So it's just a trick that the renderer does in order to make it look like that. Alright, so then I'll go back in here, I'll make that flat again. Now there's also a different type of smoothing, and that's up here. And you can see this where is it? Smooth vertex. All right, now if I leave edit mode like that, you see that doesn't show up. So it's only in edit mode that that's available. So maybe I'll just select an edge. Maybe I'll select these two edges like this. All right, and I'll kind of turn it to the side a little bit and zoom in. All right, and then I'm going to press smooth vertex like that. And you can see what it does. It kind of flattens the mesh. So in this case, it's actually smoothing the mesh out, but it doesn't you know, so it's actually deforming the mesh. All right, so, and we'll do it for maybe for a couple others. We'll do it for this one, maybe this one as well, like that, and we'll do those there. So then when we go back into modeling mode, you can see, well, you can't tell, it's enough, it's just subtle, but you can see it kind of flattens it down like that, all right? And it's trying to still maintain the shape. All right, so you don't want to get those two confused when you're in this edit mode, like here between the vertex and between the shading. Okay, and then one other thing I've showed this in maybe one or other tutorials, but it's such a fun, powerful lesson. And just in case you haven't seen it, you can go press with my edge select. I'll hold down the Alt key and I'll 
just right select and get an edge loop all the way around like that or let me see that's the one yeah now those will work yeah well let me let's do something else let's get vertex select like this let me just grab these here I'll grab a couple vertices like that and I'll move them up and kind of change my model so let's say that's my model in here what you can do if you want to keep it or maybe I'll move this one up a little bit like this so sometimes you want these to be level just like these are level for whatever reason so you can just come into this thing and let me go into well, I'll just go into this see-through kind of mode so I can go get this whole section I'll come down here and I have all those there like this then I want to just flatten those out I can press S and I want to flatten them on Z and then I pressed S then Z and then on the numpad I'm going to press 0 alright so I just flatten the whole things down like that that is another really useful tool okay well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson